So we're continuing on with last week, but a, uh, a, a shorter duration of being in the chair, but the next level, the next stage, not level, the next stage. So we want to be on the, the front of a chair, or if you're doing it at home and you have a stool, something without a back, then that's even better. Uh, not so important today, but there is an exercise later that will be clapping behind our hands. And that's why when you do it uh, at home, you can do it with a stool. But here, when we get to that, we'll just stand up and you won't hit the back of the chair. So we're going to just do three times through only and not every digit, but just the bone breathing that we learned last time so as as we breathe in breathe in from the toes we're not going to stimulate them that's so that why i said you don't need to take your shoes off in through the fingers and going dafka through the bones of the body so as we breathe in we follow it up through the toes through the fingers to the wrist the bone center of the bones of the leg and the thigh, the forearm and the upper arm and the hips, up the spine, feel all the ribs and up the, the neck and the skull. And then when we breathe out, it goes in the same direction, following every single bone through the body. So as we do this, I'll do the breathing without talking because then it takes too long to, to speak at all. But breathe in through the toes, all the bones, all the way up through the spine and the ribs and the neck and over the top of the head. And then breathe out, follow the same route down. We get to the hips, goes out the big bones of the legs, the ankle, the wrists, and out the toes and the fingers. We breathe in again through the nose, bringing the energy through the toes and the fingers, seeing every bone on, on the skeleton coming up, up through the spine and the neck and over the skull. And then once we breathe out, it goes back the same way, really following it, going through each bone as it falls right through the center. You can see the porous bone itself as it follows that path. Excuse me, do we exhale by mouth or by nose? Um, it, either one now, it's not a not good question. She asks if you breathe out through the mouth or out through the nose. It's whichever, right now, it's whichever is comfortable. Um, I think we're too excited that we didn't calm ourselves down. So, but I, I understand. I've got a quick question. Yeah. When you're breathing and it's coming up this way, it's in the middle. Is it the same level on the arms? Right. So as I'm, we're breathing in, first it comes through the bones of the feet, the ankle, the leg, up through the bones. And about then, now it's hitting the fingers also. And, and then you're kind of through the fingers as it hits the knee. Now it's the upper leg and the lower arm. So it's following that same path. Is it also coming up through here? And then it comes up the spine. Oh, it goes back down then. No, it's coming up, and as it hits my my rib, hi, hips, and the pelvic pelvis, now it comes up my spine. When it gets here, now it also starts going on the on the on the uh, ribs. As it comes up my spine, up my neck, my skull, and now it goes back down. So don't worry about the arms. As, as it comes up this leg, that's when it's coming up this arm. So it's parallel. It's kind of parallel. So it doesn't hit the fingers till it hits the knees. But some people come up to here, stop, 
come up to here, join them, and then come up. There's no right and wrong. What we're trying to do is get an electrical charge into the bones. So we have to really go deep into the bones and get an electric, by thinking of it and following that energy, there's an electrical charge that's naturally happening. Just like the guy sticking his finger in the socket you see in the cartoons and he glows and all of a sudden you see all his bones, like he's an x-ray, then he pulls his finger out and disappears. We're doing that, and, but the body does it on its own. All right, so um, we didn't slow ourselves down for breathing. So that's why it's taking, uh, maybe we can sit for a minute, I understand, and just, just breathe calmly. If you can bring it up through and only to the hips and you have to breathe out, then go out there. And then the next time, try to come up higher. If that's the only amount that you have for a breath, then go back down again. And as we slow down, because we're just starting, it will go further and further up the body and then down. Does that make, make sense? Okay. Uh, all right, so we'll, we'll continue that. A couple more, just extra ones as we breathe in, in a slow pattern through the bones, electrifying the bones. And then out, follow it, going, sliding through each bone, one after another. So it goes down the legs, the ankles, wrist, out the fingers and toes. And we breathe in. And we breathe out. We breathe in and go as far as you can with the breath. And we go breathe out, following it down. Make sure you see your ribs, and the spine and the pelvis and the big bones down the leg, ankles, toes, and out. One last time, visualize every bone one after another as we breathe in. And breathe out. All right, now, we're going to go down in below the feet is a root structure. Like we're a tree and there's roots down into the ground. And we want to now, as we pull up the energy out of the earth, it's going to come right through the bottom of the foot. This time, the whole leg puffs up. We've already stimulated the bones so we really don't have to think about it it's going to come along with the ride for free but as i come up i'm filling up like a, a, a tube the whole leg the whole body up and now not the brain but the whole head puffs up but both legs at the same everything time. at the same time comes up as as a like that guy with the air blowing in him on the street for the advertisement. He's got a tube of air at the bottom and he's wobbling in the air. You call that advertisement, maybe if you've seen it. So we're getting filled up through the whole body, through the whole chest, the arms puff up, the neck puffs up, the head puffs up. You actually feel it filling. So we breathe out, you feel it collapsing as it goes back down. But the key is, where does it start? Where does the energy start? It starts down in the roots underneath us. So first, let's, let's think down as we breathe out, follow our energy out of the body, down into the roots and see it. One big thick root, that one branches out and it branches out again and it branches out. 
It's a strong tree. It's got lots of branches. And visualize those branches in the earth. Even though we might not have earth under us, we're close enough to absorb the earth energy. So breathing in naturally, just breathe out again. Follow out the body and visualize the root structure underneath our legs. Now this time as we breathe in, follow it up through the roots in through the bottom of the foot, puffing up the feet, the legs, the torso, the arms, the neck, and the head. And as we breathe out, push it back down through those channels as it squeezes down and follow it into the earth. As you're breathing in through the roots into the ankle, see if it, you can feel it puff up, the leg puff up, and the body puff up, and my head puff up with not oxygen, but energy, it puffs up. And now I breathe out and we kind of collapse. Breathe in through the roots, into the feet. Follow it up through the body, into the head, expands, and then breathe out as it squeezes down through all the body. It's a very heavy energy because it's from the earth. As we breathe in, think of it up through those roots first as it enters the bottom of the foot. And we breathe out now we're breathing out stale energy. We're putting it back into the earth and we're uh, putting it in the compost, into the earth, the stale, depleted chi. Now I'm, I'm breathing in one more thought is this is nice, new, fresh chi that I'm bringing up through the earth. Legs expand, body expands as it flows up, fills up, head, and I breathe out, sending out the stale chi out the body. Do it a couple more times and really see if you can feel it as it comes up the body. Breathe in. And breathe out, following it. And one more time, breathing in. And then breathe out, following it out all through the body, back down through the legs, through the feet, into the earth and going through the root structure into the earth. Now we wanna warm your hands a little. Just a brief warm and put it on your kidneys, right on the back, on your back. It doesn't have to be on your skin, right on your, on your, um, on your shirt. When you breathe in, see if you can feel your back expand. Breathe out, the back collapses. So we're not only breathing in and out of our diaphragm, pushing the stomach out. But as I diaphragm drops, it pushes not only my stomach out, but my back out. And you feel this as you breathe in, it pushes up against the palms of your hands. And we're stimulating our kidneys equal on both sides of the spine is very important. Breathing out, it shrinks. So let's add to that that we're starting down in the roots again, bringing the chi, the new fresh tree, 
chi right up through the legs, the puffy leg, not the bone. Bone comes for free. And it stops where my hands are. Fills up this lower dantian area and specifically really activating the kidneys. And then breathe out, following it out. Shrink, I feel my back shrinking, the legs shrinking out through the bottom of my feet into the roots. Breathe in, comes up and fills up the back, triggers the stimulation of the kidneys. And breathe out. Once again, up through the roots into the legs and breathe in. Expansion of the back of the kidneys and breathe out, breathe out. Now with the mind, only go to the right kidney. Bring up the energy up through the right kidney and the right side of your back. As I breathe in and breathe out, just the right side. I'm showing you my left, but I'm, I'm in a mirror, so it's that's why. Breathe in through the right leg, up and into the right kidney. And breathe out, following it down into the earth. Breathe in. Again, the right kidney. And breathe out. Now we'll do the same with the left kidney. Coming up the left leg out of the roots into the left leg as they breathe in. And just my left side expands behind under my hand. And breathe out. The whole left side collapses. It goes out. Breathe in. Breathe out. And breathe in one last time on the left side. And we breathe out. I'm tweaking the kidneys. First, we did it on the right side, then the left side, and now we want to balance it again. So breathe through both legs, up into both hands, and really expand this lower dantian area as it expands in the front and the back, the kidneys. Breathe in. Equal on both sides. Breathe out. One more time, breathe in both sides. And breathe out. And then relax and just feel, how, how do you feel thinking, okay, my bones have stimulated the whole body. My, I have equal pressure. I've balanced my body with equal pressure on my Kidneys, a little bit, starting to get a little bit of warmth in this area. If I touch my hand to my stomach, all of a sudden I can, probably is hotter than it was before. I'm starting to activate the lower dantian and getting it warmer and warmer. So we'll, we'll take this warmth. We've warmed up the body. We've opened it up. The kidneys are... Really the last thing when a baby is born, the kidneys are the last things to mature and we're doing it in reverse. We're getting it to be the first thing to be activated for our, for our practice. So now we can come off.